some video today. Um, no idea what I want to explore. Just gonna kind of go with it. Um, maybe I'll think of something in in a second. But uh, I guess let's start by just going from prismatic ray into cha uh, shape changer. Yeah, shape changer, horizontal. Then we're gonna just just for the fact of just seeing the output right now, we're gonna go from prismatic ray into green or into blue. Again, uh, my cadet is reversed. So there's just blue right now. Um, next thing, let's take the gradient from the shape changer, and we are gonna go from the shape changer to, or not shape changer, staircase. Well, prismatic ray to the staircase. I know. What am I talking about? I'm all over the place right now. Let's back it up for a second. So all I'm doing right now, just for the sake of output, prismatic ray to blue, prismatic ray, waveform to shape changer, horizontal, and then the gra gradient from the shape changer to the staircase. Okay, here we go. And then to the divided by two into the Y of the mapper. So now um, I'm gonna go from the blue of the mapper to the red on the cadet. So next kind of want to modulate this but I should put it into a molt so there we go so we're gonna have an LFO there and let's just see what that LFO looks like on the staircase let's see nothing really so far so obviously we still got a little work to do here so cool thing I would try to do now is if the wires want to help me out, which is, would be nice, um, is to actually modulate this prismatic ray a little bit. Oh, is this wire messed up? Yes, it is. Let me try a new one. Do, 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 do. Into the frequency of this prismatic ray. So again, LFO, prismatic ray, of the frequency uh, frequency to modulate it. So we just get that for now. Nothing too grandiose. It'll get there. It's maybe a longer one. Oh, see right there. So I just changed the skew on the shape changer. And that alone created this really nice, almost shimmery type of blue pattern. It's definitely different on a CRT, which is in front of me. And so I just moved the blue, changed the bias a little bit, and already you can see we're getting some really cool stuff. So I'm just assuming, yep, that was the shape changer. So what else can we do? Well, maybe let's do from the ramps. We're going to do uh, into the phase VC. We're just going to do a vertical um, negative, I guess you could say 50% of the screen. Then you have 25 on each side. So it would be like this, like if I draw, drew it out with my hand right now negative right here and then there'd be two little slivers of positive on each side um, and so we're going to use that so you can see right now it's allowing me to control the spacing and so we wanted that to create a little more I guess you could say not say but just more depth or more yeah, it's more than just layering, but you're gonna you'll see what I mean in a, in a few. Um, you're creating more of like a flow, so you can get in between different shapes and colors, and by having a little more variance, kind of in this sense, where you can control the center or you know the outer edges, this will allow for better uh, composition. So next, let's see what can I do next. Um, so I'm actually going to take one of the staircases out. I guess we're going to focus on the staircase today and try to use it in various ways. We're going to take the staircase out into the navigator vertical and then we're going to take um, a saw wave or is this, I think, it's, no it's a, tr yeah it's a saw wave from the navigator or from the <laughs> video waveform generator into the horizontal of the navigator. So now I have to go out of H and V. Horizontal, vertical, where to go from the navigator. Um, I'm going to go 
vertical or horizontal into the vertical of the shape changer first and then I'm going to go vertical into the pedestal okay now let's see where I can go with this okay It's creating this very interesting, let me slow this down, it's kind of making me nauseous just staring at that. Um, it's almost as if you're using the video divisions, which if you um, use video divisions pretty high up in the one or two range, you get something like this. Or this. It looks very similar to that. Um, so, I, I don't know, you know, let's just, just keep going with it. No, I like this. Okay, so I just messed with the multiply. I always love doing that and playing with the scaling of it because you can, it's this. You get a hard edge and then into this kind of soft edge. And that's what I'm really looking for to create a lot more depth. Um, and a lot of times it's great because if you have some waveforms that are slow moving or they go in and out of view a little bit, it actually, it'll create kind of smoky type of patterns and things like that. Um, so next step, we've only really used the staircase to go into here. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take the gradient out of this, um, and we're going to go gradient into the S of the mapper. Um, I think that's a smarter move. I don't know if it's even a move. I, I mean, I don't even know if any of them are really smart. They're just moves. Um, and then we see what happens. So there's this. Okay, so get a little bit of that okay so now we opened it up and that's nice so let's slow you down again um, so the gradient's pretty cool but I kinda wanna modulate it some more but also I wanna get this prismatic ray into it so we're gonna actually go from this prismatic ray into the staircase now we're talking because we already have an LFO modulating the frequency of the staircase and then the phase being controlled by one of the ramps so let me just take them out so right now this is purely just this prismatic ray right here into the staircase um, and so let me just take out the gradient so the gradients out too so really we just have a prismatic ray going into this and it has some really cool depth but once we modulate it once by the LFO into the frequency we can already see we get this cool it's not crushed but it's like falling into itself uh, well it's multiplied but I don't know uh, to me that's like a very specific type of look and after a period of time it just makes me think like you're folding in on itself it's a, a little bit like an origami thing and then but if you extend it too much obviously it gets crushed up you know or condensed like that and it's very rigid um, but then let's say we take the video ramps and thank you for listening to my rambling there'll be a lot um, into the phase VC and so once we do that we're pushing in the sides to make it positive in the middle and negative on the outside um, I may <laughs> honest I'll have to double check I may have that backwards but either way right now we're going back to it again the focus is pushing in like that due to the ramps into the phase and so then just by messing with the phase and the frequency multiplier you can get some really cool shapes and so now um, so like if you just increase the frequency of the prismatic ray you get more patterns like this which I enjoy um, I've been getting a little more into trying to focus on like one of them and then building a composition off of that so I guess we'll just keep going there and see what we can do so right now I just mess with the multiply a little bit and again the gain um, okay so now we get a little more definition on that shape so um, next step let's see what we can do let's see now um, so let's see what the navigator is really, like really tuned into right now um, I'm actually gonna change out the horizontal for another for one of the ramps um, and I'm gonna do this just to see what I can actually do in terms of splitting up the screen I'm actually gonna do the um, the same type of ramp but just horizontally so this time it will be 
strong in the middle, so it'd be positive in the middle and negative on the outsides. So one lane and then two on the outside. I can't really see my other hand there. I apologize for that. Same principle. And so you can see on the screen a little bit, it gets condensed a touch, but let's see what we do with the ramps, if we can really ring this out. Uh, not everything is successful, or you can see it, I mean, it's occurring, but I just, it, it sometimes just depends on how things are layered, what color scope you're in, because sometimes it can be a twist of a knob and you see it, and then other times it's, oh, like that. Like I thought, I, I totally forgot the shape changer was not plugged in in the gradient, but we're going to actually put that back in the S now. Okay, so we have something really interesting happening, which is, it looks like this inner layer is being highlighted somehow. Okay, so I just messed with the skew a little bit. And okay, we got something really nice going on. Play a little bit with the multiply pedestal. See, and you can see where this frequency modulation of the LFO, it kind of, it's really interesting because I could, yeah, I could boost it up, get some more lines in there. I mean, you could even have a stable waveform or do it slow like this, which is really cool too. Um, so let's try to get it back to, you know, one or two characters, or not characters, but shape definitions. And then from there, we'll go back to this prismatic ring. You can see it's not, you know, I have it centered, so you can't really see the modulation point, but once you move it a little bit, you get that little triangle going on right there. We, look, we haven't even modulated this uh, prismatic ray. Let's change that. So let's go to the bridge with another LFO. Bam. And then we'll go to multiply with this one. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's not really going. And that's all right. Let's see. let's just see what they all look like. Pedestal versus frequency. I think I might go a pedestal. Yeah, the I like the multiply, but it's a little a little much. Um, trying to not have that diamond look, but also, yeah, it also has a lot to do with the bridges um, scaling. And so even look at that on this prismatic ray, I just changed the gain. A lot of the things I've found is the gain alone is one of the most pivotal thing, uh, pivotal utilities um, on those and in a system. Uh, so yeah, right now we got some really cool shapes and colors. It's a little uh, bright, so let me tone it down with the mapper. That's pretty sweet. I still don't have something in the top input, so let's uh, hammer that down really well. I do, but it was just this waveform, so let's just take it out because we don't really... I mean, we do need it, but kind of like something else there and so I guess this is where we'll use the fade of oh yeah we haven't even used these um yeah let's try that so we're gonna be strange so we'll do the fade B with the vertical of the shape changer with this waveform of that prismatic ray and we're gonna go into yeah let's do that so we're gonna then go from this fade into this mixer and then we're going to take the horizontal into the mixer and then the mixer out into H. Ah, okay. No idea what that was going to do, but and now I guess yeah we could throw in some modulation sources, but let's just see what this looks like first. Okay, we're not really even using this waveform generator over there. Let me slow it down. Let me bring this one down a little bit. Let me slow this. Yeah. So I just went from vertical to horizontal on this prismatic ray. Just to experiment. I'm actually going to go back. So we're just going to increase the speed of the LFOs again and get back to where we were. Because this, I feel like there's something there. Like, this is really nice. I think that's really choice. But, 
got a I got an itch that there's something else here. That's really cool to get it into that plane. Okay. And a lot of this like little color and lightness definition I get from the mapper again. Like if you I don't know if you watch all the videos. If you haven't, a big thing I like to use is that as the conditioning before the main signal. You get some really really nice depth and choice. So we got that. I'm going to take it out of that and put it into frequency this time or the multiply. Let's see what the multiply looks like with it. Let's go back to frequency. So we're do what we're doing is this um, LFO going to the bridge, modulating this prismatic ray. So now you can see it's kind of has this falling down ish type of vibe while the other types of designs are moving upwards um, so you can see that's moving up this is moving down so moving down moving up like that it creates this really unique um, uns <laughs> I wouldn't say it's unsettling but if you do stare at it for a while it's if at the certain rates it can uh, definitely draw you in and so a lot of times what I use the navigator for is this is big swath or color changes, swaths of color changes. Um, sometimes I like to use ramps, sometimes I like to add waveforms into it to create some variation, but it um, it all really just depends on what you're doing in the moment. Um, a lot of times, as you've seen from here, I just kind of go at it, so there we go, that's what I was looking for, something like that. Um, why I like that, it's just really, it's not that it's sparse, but it has a definite counterpoint. You got something nice and stable. White composition draws your eye to the center. Then bam, you have this moving section right there. And so I just moved or stopped or slowed down the bat. So these thick lines in the back, so they're going down, trying to control with this LFO. And then this other LFO is controlling the red and turquoise going, I don't know, it, yeah, it's turquoise. It's, I think color is a touch different on my monitor. Um, but so let's say I then went completely dark. This is why I like it. You can then get things like this. Um, and then all I did is expand the multiply, play with the pedestal. Yes, yes. Pe or that was the CV for the what? Yeah, CV for the pedestal. And then um, mess with that one. Let's see what this pedestal does. Yeah. And then let's play with the shape changer. Yeah. Okay. Now we're talking some biology diagrams right now. Come on. There we go. That's what I like to see. Some type of bacteria just flowing on some grass right there that may be a nice place to stop um, hopefully you get something out of this video um, just to do a quick recap we start out with no real mission and then decided you know do the basic conditioning of the normal thing I usually do color space mapper to the out which is a cadet um, but a lot of this revolves around one a prismatic ray going into the staircase um, right here, which is being modulated by one LFO, but to mainly modulate the staircase by two different, completely different types of sources, stable and non-stable. So we have the ramps going into here, into the phase VC, which again created, helped create this shape because I'm making it positive here and then negative on the outside. And then um, what we're doing next is from there we had um, an LFO, I probably repeat myself right here, so it was LFO and the ramp, sorry. Um, so that's just one core of it. Then two, we have the gradient come from the shape changer, but what's going into that? Well, you have another prismatic ray, which is really interestingly enough then being modulated by the navigator. Then you have one, something from the navigator going to the shape changer, but what feeds the navigator is another staircase source and another ramps, but the, um, the opposite of the first one, so instead of it being um, in the middle and two negative on the other side, middle positive, you just twist it. So it's the same exact thing, uh, just horizontally. 
Um, you can't necessarily see it in the final product right here. Um, but so those, that navigator and the shape changer, um, and those outs uh, from the shape changer horizontal out is, well, the vertical out first is being faded with this prismatic ray over here. Then the, the horizontal out is going, is uh, mixing the product, or the, yeah, I guess you could say product of the fade, as well as the horizontal of the shape changer. So it's kind of step one, then back in on itself for step two and then the mix are going out into the H of the color space mapper. And that's what has helped create this product. And I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.